Dude, that looks so good. Dang. Dude, now that really like screams SEMA truck. The A-Team is here. The truck is sitting on its own weight. Wheels and tires. Got the wheel lights mounted. Alex and Mondo did the wheel lights. Literally all hands on deck. Mondo is doing cab lights. Alex is getting ready to do the starlight. Let's see if the cab lights work. Have you swapped the cab lights or you just took them out? I took, I got them. I'm fixing to put the last one in. Heck yeah. And then Stan and Matt are doing the uh, Kelderman bumper. <laughs> we need a ladder to jump up, up and down on this truck. What I'm working on is Unfortunately, Matt got a little boo-boo right here. Hit it with the drive shaft when we took it off. So I'm doing a little touch up there. Working on that right now. Did the last coat of clear, let it sit. The wet sand is smooth and then polish this area out. Rear hitch is on, powder coated from Jimmy Rivers. There's, there's so many things that are powder coated on this truck. I'm thinking we really need to build a powder coating booth or a, an oven and start powder coating most of the stuff ourselves which Alex can already do powder coating, but his oven's are only so big that can't do some of these bigger components. Turn the switch on, JW. Oh, yes. Dude, that looks good. Cab lights? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Dude, this front end is coming together. Look at that. Dude, that looks good. Man, I can't get over the size of these wheel lights, man. Oh yeah, they're massive. Yeah. <laughs> so the wheel <laughs> like, looking lights- at them, Looking at them, what, what size are these wheels? Like 24? These are 22 by 12. So the fact that the rim is bigger than a 22 inch rim, that says a lot. Oh yeah. Cause I can only imagine, cause you got 24s and 26s. 28s. 28s, oh. Yeah. So those are gonna fit. Yeah, we're not perfect. worthy, dude. Dude, that looks so good. Alex powder coated Matt's exhaust tip as well. Dude, look at it. You want to get killed. All right, Alex said he wired up the train horns in the back. Shall we look at it? Yeah. All right. Let's see it. That's the point, I guess. There is the bracket, the Goliath bracket. It's not plumbed up yet because I got to get some pipe thread. Okay. Sealant, but that'll go there. That won't go there. And then the hoses aren't ran either because we might need to get some 90 degree fittings for better fitment. But and the solenoid's not mounted, so that's the only wire that's hanging down right here is the solenoid. Okay. But everything else is working as it should. Yep. I mean, everything else is loomed up. I mean, I don't even see any like access wires hanging, hanging down. I mean, you don't even, you can't even really tell which wire is, you know, factory or which is the train horn, which is good. See, like coming down that loom in the center mm -hmm. um, is actually both wheel lights, but it's hard to tell, I guess. Yeah, that one? No, the one right in the center. Oh, right That's in the with center? the factory um, loom. All right, cool, cool. So these have to mount, two of these will mount where the compressors are, mm -hmm. and then two will mount on the bumper when it gets on. Heck yeah, so it's, there's four of the big premium rock lights sitting over there so this truck is going to be even brighter which is ridiculous everything works because we just put the key in the truck hit the ignition and the compressor kicked in which is exactly what it needs to do and then you try the solenoid you, you, hear it clicking. you heard the solenoid clicking so everything is working as it should very clean install so at the moment we're finishing up the headliner then should be able to put all the interior pieces back in and then we'll show you guys the starlights. Good morning, America. We are back at Matt's house. Today is the last day to get this truck ready before we hit the road for SEMA. So as of right now, um, Stan is putting his drive line back on. 
Uh, I am just zip tying these rock lights so they don't dangle because we are going to actually drive this truck for the first time since we reassemble the whole truck back together. We are on our way to a place called Communographics to get all the SEMA wrap done. Stan is going to put TIS on the side as TIS is one of his main sponsors for SEMA. It is going to be a TIS booth. What I got to do now is put these rock lights. I just need to find a place to zip tie them up so we can... I'll just put them on top of the bracket. The train horn bracket? Yeah. Yeah, I'll probably just like zip tie here somewhere just so that way they don't dangle. We're going to have to mount them once we do the back bumper. All right, that will do for now. We really just need to drive like two miles on the road anyway. So, so far, I'm not too impressed with Kelderman. That's just me. They made that bumper to where it works specifically for Rigid Industries light bar. So if you don't use Rigid, Rigid Industries, you have to custom fab and kind of make a lot of changes to make it work. And in my opinion, that's not very cool. It makes it really difficult. Yeah. It does. Um, some of the things were a little out of line. You know, it, we had to make some adjustments. We had some holes that didn't like quite line up with a bolt mm -hmm. to be able to get a bolt through it. Um, we made it work, but it was, it was difficult. And, you know, it, it's hard to say. Rigid Industries is really expensive. Yeah really expensive so my truck on the black truck if you go back to the previous videos of the black truck mm. i had um pods to replace my fog lights yep i had two six inch light bars in the bottom mm. where you normally would see the grill on the lml's in mm. the bumper yeah and then i had a 30 inch light bar and All that right there alone is like four thousand dollars worth of lights yeah and it's just five lights yeah um but I think that even Matt said it, most people who run the Keldermans just run a modified light setup in there. Um, and that's what we're gonna have to do, just run modified. So Twisted Pro uh, sent me pods for front and rear bumper and then the uh, 20 inch light bar. Um, but because this bumper specifically manufactured towards uh, Rigid Industries lights, it takes a little modification to make everything work. And I guess it really just sucks because we're on a time crunch. Mm -hmm. Had we not been on a time crunch, sure, I guess we could have like dealt with it better, but because we gotta get things done in a certain amount of time, the more work we have to do to make that bumper fit, the more we're gonna hate that bumper. So right now, we freaking hate it because we are running into just all sorts of issues, just making modifications, waiting on the fab shop to fab the brackets for the fog lights. Because at the same time, like we want the fabrication to look good. We want it to look like it's factory. If you can tell how tall this truck really is, well, this should be able to tell you. This multi-pro tailgate, it's supposed to be a step. At this point, it's a table. This is like a perfect height for a table. Usually, when the tailgate comes out on the regular truck, the tailgate is here. I can't even use this as a step. Step, step. Oh, Jesus. You gonna do it that way? Yeah, I can do it. All that condensation. Yeah, that's how tall this truck is. I can still, on my truck, I can still use the multi-pro tailgate as somewhat of a step, but then again, I got a Gen Y hitch, so I can no longer use this. What? A little more blood for the day. You got blood already? Yeah. How we started right now. There you go. A little blood. All right. Truck is officially on. You can kind of hear the exhaust. 
but right now that's like the compressor and everything kicked in I think your truck's sitting taller than before I have the keys up. you have the keys up a little bit but then but then again if you drive it might settle back down okay all right taking the dually matt's got my loi i have the dually gotta go pick up the wheels later today Oh yeah, looking good, nice, yes, there she is, first official drive after putting everything back together and just seeing it roll down the driveway for that 0.5 seconds, boy that right there just made all the hard work that went in the last couple weeks completely worth it uh, man we cannot wait to see this thing with new wheels and tires later today with the bumper and the wrap dude just seeing that coming down the driveway yeah. made all the pain and <laughs> everything just worth it i wish i could be here to you right You got a parachute for it? Yeah. Joe Biden parachute? <laughs> Jump, <laughs> land. Here's something crazy. I was getting on the interstate and I thought I saw something basically like fall out or fly out of my truck. Something small, like about this size. And I was like, what could that be, right? It was black. And I was thinking to myself, could it be my center cap? And I was like, surely not. So I get to Matt's house. And sure enough, I'm, I noticed I'm missing a center cap. And I'm, I'm wondering, there was a nick right there that uh, I noticed two days ago, but maybe I didn't notice the center cap. So maybe the center cap came off and hit, hit the inside of the barrel and scratched it a little bit. And I'm like, all right, cool, that, that sucks. Let me just get a replacement center cap. And I look at the back wheel, and the back wheel is missing a center cap too. So, but on this side... I have both of my center caps but it's just it's it's weird something happened on this side of the truck where both of the center caps decided to leave the chat I have no idea what happened so <laughs> I guess it's time for me to get new center caps that was just weird I, I don't know how that really just happened all right so the wheels are back mounted polished and powder coated yep mount tonight jeez that looks good yeah all right that is what an actual polished wheel looks like a couple of small fingers <laughs> nice dude that's beautiful this process, yeah that is beautiful. So like Brad it. did all the powder coating, the milling, the, the inner barrel, um, and then uh, palmetto, palmetto polishing. polishing. Yeah. He did all the polishing of the wheel since it came kind of raw from the factory. Yeah. That looks good. Yeah, I like it. It's a mirror finish. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, look at it from the side right here. You can see the face of the wheel in it. Yeah, looks good. Alright, now she comes. Woo! Dude, that's huge. Yep. That is huge. And you, you, you guys put beads? Yeah. Okay. Beads in there. Nice. Little BBs. I need a good wash though. So I'll have to. The whole thing needs a good 
wash them. Technically. Right. Beautiful. Yes, it's all coming together. We can almost see the finished picture. In there. Yeah. Put these on and put the bumper on, Hobbs rack, and you're, you're good to go. <laughs> okay, so Stan's truck is back from the wrap place. They wrapped his whole truck uh, with TIS logo and chrome splotches. Now, I haven't looked at it yet. It's right here. I'm trying to avoid looking at it. So, here's my genuine reaction. Dang! Dude, now that really like screams SEMA truck. Shit. No YouTube. Holy cow. Yeah, it, it's, no, it's no YouTube truck. <laughs> no YouTube truck. That is a SEMA truck. Holy cow. They did a really good job. Yeah, haters. Yeah. Hi, haters. Hey, uh, you needed to change your Instagram uh, handle. I'm not doing it yet. Ironhide LML, you can't have that on a L5P. Hey, That's true. See, I'm staying true to my roots. <laughs> Dude, this looks so good. Wow. Wow. All right, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. So I thought it was gonna be chrome, no. but it's silver, which I like the silver better. Oh. Dude, this is sick. It literally just went from like a big old lifted truck to like full on SEMA truck. That's, that's insane. I like it a lot. Let's check out the other side. We got a Taylor. TM Creations, wearing a red tech shirt because that's where he works now. Uh, coming out of retirement. Oh yeah. To capture some last minute SEMA content for us. Status update, Taylor's over here taking some high quality pictures for us. All right, can I get a sneak peek of some photos? I don't know, can we show them though? Uh, maybe, maybe one. Uh, let's see. So the trucks are dirty, but Look at Taylor's magic. Oh yeah. Y'all see that? That's why he works for RegTech. Do what you love and yep. you'll never work a day in your life. Yep. <laughs> and RegTech treats him good. I heard RegTech's yeah. like a, a really good company. Treat you very well. So, Stan's truck, uh, back bumper is, has been mounted. The front bumper needs to go next and then do the full wheel swap over to the 28 by 16s, 42 by 1650s. I think these are 1650s. No, 1550s, 42 1550s. So Stan went to the hardware store because for some reason TIS didn't send a center cap, meaning they also didn't send the hardware for the center cap to go on to. So Stan's on his way to the hardware store. Unfortunately, the, the one that's closest to us closes at 9 and it's 9 15 and apparently all the other ones close at 10 of course it, it would be that way gonna take him extra like 30 minutes that really should have taken like 10. i gotta cut this and i have to extend it because this parking sensor needs to go through this hole and he needs to go all the way over here so that's what i'm working on and this bumper should be ready to go on the truck just got done extending this parking sensor. So we feed it through here. And now it's long enough. It's definitely long enough. We gotta figure out a way to get there. Right before the road trip, of course, we had to do a cool little mod on the, the dually, the tow pig. Got Illusion Blueberry. Illusion Blueberry or what is it? Illusion Blueberry. Yep. Illusion Blueberry tip 
powder coated by Alex Daly, the Southern Showstopper. Looks really good. It matches the overall kind of theme of this truck, which is white and blue. But um, what I'm about to do is finally wash this truck. This truck's gone through a delete exhaust, two different tunes, easy link tunes, uh, auto cal tunes, new tires, uh, 7, miles. new headlights, 7,000 miles, oil change, <laughs> transmission Trans fluid. Change, diff change. Uh, we changed out the diff fluid, All the, the fluids, fluid, uh, everything except the front diff. I didn't change the front diff. Alignment on it too? Yep, alignment. And yet, it hasn't been washed. <laughs> it has not been it's washed. <laughs> so, we can't be pulling these two beautiful trucks with a dirty truck. Right. right. And it definitely needs a wash. So, I just got done washing these two trucks. So, what's another truck to wash, right? I haven't washed my truck all, all week. I've been trying to, but I couldn't. But here I am washing three different trucks that don't even belong to me. So, Teamwork that, makes the dream work. That, that, yeah, that's just how it, things work sometimes. Usually, when you put a bigger exhaust tip on it, it rumbles a little bit louder. I'm looking for the keys. Looking for the keys so you can start it up, so we can find out if it actually is louder. There Found it. Well, there you go guys for those of you guys that wanted to know if putting an exhaust tip makes your truck a little bit louder and indeed it does it makes it rumble a little a little bit deeper and roar a little bit deeper but after we wash the dually only thing we have left to do is put the front bumper and the wheels in which i'm actually going to save that for the next upload so next upload should be I will reveal the final product of Stan's truck and then we'll get everything loaded up on the trailer and we should be on our way to Vegas. So make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already because we got tons of SEMA content and really cool footage. Yeah, we have a lot of cool clips thanks to TM Creations, Taylor Made. We might, I might really have to start hiring Taylor over here. Every once in a while, I'll do a little cinematic. Let's do it. Every once in a while. All right. He's hired. But uh, that is it for this video, you guys. We got tons of CMI content coming, so make sure to hit that subscribe button. But I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs>